Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how to use AWS Policy Simulator. So this is a very useful tool uh, which, provide, which is provided by AWS. You can basically, when you write an IAM policy or an S3 policy, right, you can basically run the policy to see if the accesses which you have provided or which you have put in the policy are actually correct or not, right? So you can actually do that using the policy simulator. So this tool has been there for a very long time, but I don't see people using this because just for the simple reason that some people just don't know how to use it, right? So probably this video will help those people out to basically show how this tool actually works, right? So let's get started. <coughs> So this is the AWS Policy Simulator, as you can see on my screen. Uh, you can actually get to it by logging into your AWS account and then just going to policysim.aws.amazon.com. Uh, for this, you actually have to log into your AWS account. So I've already logged in. Now I'll go to the mode. You can see there, there are two modes, existing policies and new policy. So I am going to run this simulator against a new policy. So I'll just select new policy and you can see uh, on the rest, uh, left hand side, I get an option to create a new policy, right? So I'll just select create new policy. Uh, name can be anything. You can just leave it as is or if you want, you can give it a name. And then you can put a policy over here. So I already have written a policy which basically gives read access on all the S3 buckets and read access for the EKS clusters, right? So this is the policy, what uh, what this, what policy does. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply this, right? Then I'm going to select a service and first I'm going to select an S3, right? Select it. For action, I'm going to select all action and then I'm going to run a simulator. So what I'm doing is basically, because if you see all actions, this has all the actions, right? But I'm only giving the read, get and list. So let's see what all actions actually work for us. So if I come down, you can see I have get access point, I have get acceleration. So all the get actions should be allowed. And as I see, all the get actions are allowed. Get object, get object attributes, tagging, List, you can see initiate replication is denied. List access point, list access point for our object lambda, list all my buckets. So you can see this policy is actually working for S3, right? This has given me the read access on all the S3 buckets and this simulator actually simulates that, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear the result and I'm going to select uh, Kubernetes service now because this policy also has read access for the Kubernetes uh, EKS, basically AWS EKS. So we'll just go down AWS Elastic Container Registry, Elastic Kubernetes Service. Okay. Again for actions, I'm going to select all and then run the simulator again. And if we scroll down, you can see we have access to describe cluster. We have access to describe update, list cluster, list updates, and that's pretty much it. That's all the access we have. So you can see we do not have any create cluster or any create target profile, any create action or any delete action for that matter. We only have the list and basically get action, basically the read action, right? So. We can say that this policy is also working, right? And this is basically what and how you use AWS Policy Simulator. So I just wanted to cover that. This was a short video and I hope this helps people out who basically, I mean, are into writing a lot of IAM uh, policies, S3 policies, but they don't know how to verify whether it works or not, right? So this is a good place to start. And yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys like this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.